Hello, this is the best Mac Tutorials, and I'm answering a Java question. So uh, there was a an question on answers.com that asked, essentially, how do you insert a new method into a Java program, and as well, how do you declare a variable? And so the way the question was worded, it would appear as if you already had a Java program that you were trying to insert a method and a variable into. So I'm just going to use this sample program here. Um, I'll run it real quick to show you what it does. And it asks you to type a number, type 4 number five, multiplies them together, prints out the result, adds them together, prints out the result, divides the first by the second, and gives you uh, the first mod the second. So, without further ado, um, adding a variable or declaring a variable inside code is very simple. For example, if you want to declare an, to declare an integer, you'd put int and then name it, you know, whatever, q equals 47, semicolon, to end the statement. Uh, if you wanted to declare a double, oops, double, double, g equals um, 47. If you wanted to do um, a byte or a character or whatever, that's how you do it. Except, you know, it would be care or whatever, and then it would be, of course, the appropriate, you know, if it's a string you don't put 47, you'd put that. You'd put um, quote 47, end quote, uh, if it was a string. Um, then if you wanted to use it for mathematical things, you have to parse it, but that's something else. So anyway, that's how you declare any kind of variable in a program. I'm just going to delete this line. And if you wanted to declare a method, or make a new method, you see, you have this method, main. And it's inside this public class of example, or whatever you call it, which is after the import statement. Now, all methods have to be within this public class for our purposes. That means that they have to be within or before this ending brace. But that to be outside of this one, because this one is part, all of this, plus the title, that is all one method. If I make another method outside of these braces, then it's still within the class, but it's a separate method. So let's say we want to make a public, static, void, another method, like that. Then we do our braces, like that. And then we would type in, you know, whatever we want. Do something here. Oops. Do something here. Or we could even put in code, you know, say system dot out dot println dot print then um, then the method another method has been called. And so now it's just whenever this method gets called and ran. Um, then this line of code executes and it prints out to the terminal this method another method has been called. So if we run this, you will see we don't have a method declaration. So let's say four, five. Notice how this did not print. That's because we don't have a method declaration. We don't have a method call up here. We declared the method, but we never called it. How do we call it? Well, if it's just a void so it's not returning any kind of number, then we do another method like that. Just another method, just like that, with a semicolon. That executes it. Now watch. If we do the exact same, 4 and 5, boom. The method, and, oops, the method, another method, has been called. Now, if we change this, and I'm getting a little outside the boundaries of what the question is, to public static int, where it sends back an int. One, it's getting mad because I don't have a return statement, so let's say return 4. Boom. Now it's happy. But watch. Four, five. The method, another method, has been called. But if we're returning four, that four never has anything done with it. It's just lost. So if we wanted to use that integer four with this method call, we'd have to put like int f equals another method call. So we call that and then say, hey, whatever it returns, this return statement, and the data type it's going to return is declared here. Assign that to assign f to that value that is returned. So if you run this now, actually, you know what? Let me put a system system dot out dot println statement ntln um, f is equal to and plus f and put our semicolon and then you will see that when I run this, boom, four five whatever f is equal to 4. Now the reason it doesn't have a space is because I didn't put a space there. But see how we used 
this method, went a little further past what the question asked, but we used this method here. We called it like this, but we assigned an integer to it. Now it looks like int f would equal another method, and you'd say, well, that's not a variable, but it returns a variable. It returns an integer. Uh, see this return statement? We could also declare a variable, have a, a variable in here, int f, and then have it return f. Now if we run it, it won't work because it's not providing the right amount of things here. So if we put in 47 here, then it would sense 47 over here, then return 47 and set f equal to that. Now that's pretty pointless, but it would in fact work. Now if we do 4 and 5, f equals 47. See how 47 was sent over and then returned, and then we printed out f. So, uh, pretty simple. Um, I have just pulled up a little code sample, edited it a little, put in a method, put in an integer, and uh, this is not in like the Java tutorials kind of um, series. Uh, I do plan to do more of those, but I did get into a Java class at school. It's a year-long Java class. The only problem is, so far, pretty much all the stuff we've learned is already stuff I've put into Java tutorials, so pretty soon we should be starting new stuff that I haven't showed you guys yet, and so I can start doing more of those tutorials. Um, there's little bits and pieces here and there that I've learned in Java this year that I haven't shown, but I mean they're like, you know, substrings of strings, and they're not like big things. So once we learn some new concepts in my Java class, then I will be presenting them to you guys in actual Java tutorials. So anyway, this is the answer to your question, and thank you for watching.